I am in a secret underground group. And somebody in that group posted a question. He says, I've got two lists, a really big list and a small list. And somehow entries from the small list got into the big list. Oz, how can I use Excel to peel the list apart? Hmm. This sounds like an ideal opportunity to use the match function and somebody else in the group they observed bonnie said in those situations i use vlookup why do you use match vlookup can work and if that's the tool you know it can work in this situation i'm not going to say match is better because if we're talking about calculating people's pay or talking about inventory Nobody's going to say, hey, take this check back and use match to do all of the calculations of my commissions instead of VLOOKUP and I'll wait. No, that's not going to happen. So, Bonnie, if you want to use VLOOKUP in that situation, use it. So, what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to show you three ways of doing this. I'm going to show the VLOOKUP way, the match way. And we're going to go into Get and Transform, and I'm going to show you a left anti-join. So how am I feeling today? This is how I feel. All right, here we go. Now, to illustrate what's going on, we have a big list called Colors. And our small list has Vegetables. All right, so now we can see that we have what represents his big list is the color, small list is vegetables. And red onion is in the vegetables list. So those are the things that need to get pulled out of what he calls the big list. We just want a list of the colors. Red should stay, green should stay, carrot should go, lemon yellow, stay. So let's do the VLOOKUP method. Okay, let's call that check. Okay, first, let's put this data into tables. You gotta do that. Put this format as table. Let's make that orange, all right. Cool. And put this in a table as well. Format as table, let's make that blue. Great, all right. Let's do VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. And I'm gonna look up red, comma, and here is my table array. It's here. And I want column index one. And I want false because I wanna do an exact match. false close parentheses mm. okay what's happening now is red is in a because red is not in this column all right celery it brought back celery good so now we see that the stuff we want to keep it was not found in the other data set so that's what we need to keep I'm gonna go here and filter out anything that's not in a and there is our list of colors let's do the match function equals match lookup value red comma and then just look in this column okay that's the lookup array match we want an exact match so I'm gonna make that zero and close the parentheses this 14 means that celery was found and it's in the 14th position in the other data set and eggplant is in the second position in the list so there again in order to get down to the list that we want of just colors we would filter out anything that's not in a 
Now, let's go to getting transformed, and I'm going to change this data set up a little bit. All right, let me whoop this on you. Here we go. Inside this table, I am going to go to data from table. And here is the query editor. All right, let's call this colors. That's the colors query. And I'm not going to do anything to it. What I am going to do is close and load to only create connection. And there is the colors query. Let's do the same here from table. Mm hmm. Let's call this veggies. And close and load as a connection. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is a left anti join. And a left anti join is going to have Excel give us a list starting with the colors list and bring us back anything that does not have a match in the vegetables list so it's going to look is there a red no there's no red over in the vegetables keep it is there a celery over here okay celery okay get rid of it because there's a match here we go data new query Combine queries, merge. All right, we're gonna start with colors and veggies down here. We wanna match up the colors column and the vegetables column. And we're gonna do left anti-join. Okay. And that's it. We don't want this because if we expand this, it asks us if we want to bring in the vegetable names and the likes. So let's do that just so you can see what's going on. Let's say OK. And there's no match there. See, red, there's nothing to bring back from the vegetables. So let's get rid of that step. We've got the match. We don't need this. Right click, remove. I'm going to close and load to existing worksheet and I want to put it here. Okay, L1. Okay. There is our result and it has only colors in it. Now, get and transform. This is a great solution for when you have to do things over and over again. So let's say we got more data and we don't want to go through writing that formula again. OK, scroll down here. And I'm going to unhide this. Now, we've got more data. And let's bring this up into the table. Cool. Now, let's go back up. And I'm just going to refresh the query. Right click, refresh. Oh, now look. We've got yellow green denim blue all of those new colors and none of the new vegetables see so fennel is not in the new data but magenta is so there it is that's how we can take those two lists do a comparison and peel out the ones that shouldn't be there all right peter all right bonnie there you go